So I've got an update for the uh, medication problems that I was having. Um, I saw my psychiatrist today. And turns out she had no idea any of what was going on. Nobody ever contacted her for the refill. They just contacted the general office where she works. Um, nobody had told her anything. And the person who said that it was in my chart that I was drug seeking was lying. And she was pretty upset when I told her everything and I showed her the messages that I'd been receiving from the, the my chart. And, um... Basically, she was like, yeah, I'm going to have a serious talk with my office because that's not okay. They shouldn't have told you that. They shouldn't have assumed that. And they shouldn't have done that. And she was like, yeah, it is not your fault that the CVS is out of stock. Um, so it does not say that in my chart. And she was able to get the prescription in. I'm driving to pick it up right now. Um, hopefully when I get there, there's no problems with that. Um, but yeah, she was pretty upset about everything. She's like, yeah, you are right to be upset about it. <laughs> um, so she got that all fixed, which is good. I'm going to go pick up my meds and that'll be awesome. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, I, I always schedule all my doctor's appointments on the same day so that then I'm not like going back and forth all week to the doctor's office. Um, so I had two more appointments today. One of them is just, um, what is it? Oh, it's my primary care. I'm like, I know why I'm seeing her. I know who I'm seeing, but I don't remember why. No, she's in my primary care, um, and it's about my hormones. So I'm probably going to get blood drawn today. Um, the other one was dermatology. I had some marks, like uh, some moles on my arm. And they're kind of like this thing where it's like in the back of my mind. Yeah, I should probably get this checked out. Uh, most of them were fine. One of them, they didn't like the way it looked. So they biopsied it, they removed it, and he said it might be a melanoma, but it didn't look uh, malignant. It was probably benign, but they're going to test it anyway, so they'll give me a phone call here in a couple days on that, but either way, it's been removed now, so that's great. Um, apparently, I have a really low skin cancer risk because of my family background, like uh, my genetic makeup, so that's pretty cool. Um, I like not being at risk of skin cancer. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's what I did. They numbed it before they did the biopsy, and I'm like, oh, that's weird, but okay. Because I've had biopsies done, but they weren't for medical reasons. They were for piercings. Um, like this hole up here in my ear at the top. I don't think you can see it, but I'm driving. Um, that was done with a biopsy punch, and like I have hip piercings where they did a biopsy punch to put the jewelry in. It's so, like... Those, they don't use any sort of numbing because you need a doctor's uh, certificate or whatever. You have to be certified as a doctor to use, like, injection numbing. So they just do it dry. <laughs> no no prep there. <laughs> they just sanitize the area. Um, so having it done and not feeling it was weird. Um, but yeah, I don't have that mark on my arm, which will be weird because I've had that since I was uh, decently young. I think I was, like, seven or eight when it showed up. Um, and now it'll be gone. There'll just be, like, a little scar left where it was. So that'll be weird to see it just gone. Uh, but yeah, that, that is the update that I have for today.